If you think that Tesla is the king of electric vehicles in the world right now, you might want to rethink that assumption, because an Indian automaker named Tata Motors is currently making waves in the electric vehicle industry at a more affordable rate than Tesla. Want to know more about them? Stay tuned. Tesla is, without a doubt, one of the most lucrative automobile markets in the world. Amazingly, Tata Motors has become the equivalent of Tesla in the Indian market. This is because Tata Motors is democratizing access to electric vehicles in India, just as Tesla has done in almost every market it has entered. Tesla demonstrated to the world that electric automobiles are nothing less than gas guzzlers we've all been accustomed to for decades. However, for various reasons, Tata enjoys a strong competitive edge in India's EV market. One of these is the country's extraordinarily tight import regulations which causes automobiles made in other nations to cost twice as much as those made in India and have scared away many manufacturers from doing business there. For example, Tesla has been planning to join the Indian market for several years now. Still, the company was hesitant to commit to local production unless it could demonstrate that there was sufficient demand for its products through imports. Tesla have asked for a temporary reduction in import taxes in order to gauge the level of demand in the country with the intention of constructing a gigafactory there if it could demonstrate that sales would justify the investment. Tesla could not move forward with its plans because Indian governments and politicians were unwilling to comply with the company's requests. Tata has always been able to maintain its dominant position in India thanks in part to limitations placed on foreign rivals. Although Tesla significantly contributed to convincing many governments worldwide that it is now time to transition to a totally electric future, one of the countries committing to such a future is India, and Tata Motors is a product of India's push towards the development of electric vehicles. Now there are three EV models available from Tata. These include the Nexon EV, the Tiger EV, and the newest variant, the Nexon EV Max. Tata says that it is able to keep prices down for the Indian consumer by repurposing a reliable internal combustion engine model, the Nexon, and installing it with a battery pack, rather than building new EV production lines from the ground up. This is in contrast to the path many US automakers have followed, which is to create new EV production lines from the ground up. For a developing market, an EV factory would have been ideal, a big investment sitting on emerging volume potential, but the vice president of the product line and operations at Tata Passenger Electric Mobility, Anand Kulkarni, stated that it was not something that we wanted to do. This made it possible for them to sell the Nexon EV at roughly $19,000, this isn't exactly cheap in India, but it is still feasible for the upper middle class and not significantly more expensive than the top-end Nexon gasoline model. Tata controls 90% of India's electric car market, just producing the Nexon EV and other models for fleet sales. The Nexon EV Max is another electric vehicle produced by Tata. Compared to other electric cars currently on the market in the United States, the Nexon EV Max stands out because it has more range while costing less than half of what a Tesla Model 3 would. To put it another way, the base model of the Tesla Model 3 with rear wheel drive costs $46,990 and is regarded as one of the best electric vehicles for long distance traveling. The price of the Tata Nexon EV Max is 1,774,000 Indian rupees, which is the equivalent to just under 22,800 US dollars. According to Tesla, the Model 3 will have a range of 267 miles when fully charged, and on the other hand, the Tata Nexon EV Max asserts that it can travel at 271 kilometers on a single charge. The Nexon EV Max comes standard with amenities such as an air purifier, cruise control, four-stage regenerative braking, cooled seats, electronic stability program, traction control, hill hold assist, smartwatch integration, disc brakes on all wheels, and even an app that gives you access to all of the GPS and other telemetric information about the vehicle. If you plug the Nexon EV Max into a 50kW DC charger, the manufacturer claims that it will charge from 0 to 80% in just 56 minutes. Aside from this, Tata Motors recently launched an all-electric Tiago EV hatchback, which will sell for a price slightly higher than $10,000. The vehicle is an all-electric spin on its famous Tiago hatchback, which costs just 849,000 rupees, the equivalent to $10,370. This makes it highly competitive in the market, as its pricing is lower than the average price for a vehicle in its country. According to Silas Chandra, Tata is not striving to have the lowest prices on the market, 
Nevertheless, the company's goal was to load as many connected car features and other advanced technologies into a vehicle as possible while still maintaining an affordable price. There are seven different trims available on the Tiago EV, with the two base level options featuring a battery pack with a capacity of 19.2 kilowatts. In addition, Tata provides a warranty on the battery pack and motors that is applicable for eight years and 160,000 kilometers. The warranty on the car itself is valid for three years and 125,000 kilometers. Amazingly, Tata is not stopping there. Of course, it'll be wrong to stop just here. In order to meet the ever-increasing demands of Indian customers, the company is also looking at the possibility of developing platforms for next-generation electric vehicles. The Tata Passenger Electric Mobility Branch, which is now in charge of developing the Tata's electric vehicles, will be in charge of leading the strategies for the desires of car manufacturers towards EVs. The Curve and the Avinia are two concept automobiles that Tata recently displayed. The Avinia concept car is built on a brand new skateboard platform called Born Electric, developed with electric vehicles in mind. The Curve and Avinia designs are particularly innovative due to the fact that Tata Motors will debut its Gen 2 and Gen 3 electric platforms with these vehicles. The Avinia adheres to a modular design language that fuses the best aspects of various vehicles. For example, it has the posture of a hatchback but the silhouette of an MPV and it provides room comparable to that of a premium sedan or an SUV. The frontal LED daytime running lights have a shape reminiscent of the letter T, precisely like the branding that Tata Motors uses for their vehicles. Meanwhile, Tata Motors have not yet officially stated whether or not this would be the new logo. In spite of this, it gives the impression that the car is extensive. The slim taillights also have the same T design and because they extend across the width of the car's back end, they give the impression that the lights look like a spoiler, which is a smart design touch. Surprisingly, Tata Avinia has a pleasant smell on the inside. And yes, you heard that correctly. According to Tata Motors, contemporary automobile design focuses on appearing and possibly sounding good. But with the Avinia, the company also wants the vehicle to smell good. And they achieve this by releasing perfumes into the cabin through a nozzle on the center armrest. They believe that this will help relax the people riding in the vehicle. Also, Tata Motors says the vehicle would have a range of more than 310 miles on a single charge, and the battery can be recharged using a rapid charger in less than a quarter of an hour. As of right now, no information can be validated regarding the drivetrain, but Tata Motors says that the vehicle could be manufactured either using a single motor or a pair of motors in configuration known as the double motor layout. Additionally, the production model of the Avinia's autonomous vehicle will feature enhanced driver aid technologies, in addition to waterproofing and dust protection components. When it finally hits the market in 2025, this concept vehicle will, without a doubt, stand head and shoulders above competitors such as the Tesla Model 3 and the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Without doubt, India will play a significant part moving the rest of the world towards the electric vehicle revolution since they have the capacity, labour force and workforce at a reasonable cost to produce electric vehicles for the general public. Automobiles such as the Tata Nexus EV Max are bringing that far off future into focus. The fact that Tata has produced such a car for a price that is only half of the Tesla Model 3 demonstrates how electric vehicles are the way of the future and how exciting this development is. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can always watch more amazing videos like this one. What do you think about the Tata models? Would you purchase them if they came to your country? Let us know in the comments below. And again, thank you for watching.